Coming up on Around Kern County, a new state-of-the-art park is officially open. We're giving you a look at the Lost Hills Park Playground. And Kern County Public Health wants to keep our community safe in and around water. We're sharing what you need to know about their Water Watchers program when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Allie Triolo. We're kicking off this week's show by celebrating a major investment that is officially complete. The Lost Hills Park Playground is finally open to the public. Thanks to our outstanding partnership with Caltrans, the wonderful company, and Park and Play Structures, a play core company. When we first started this project, our goal was to create a high quality outdoor play and recreation environment for the community of Lost Hills. We worked hard to be thoughtful and intentional about making this area inclusive, to encourage physical activity and movement for people of all ages and abilities. When our kids are active, that means they lead healthier lives. It means a more supportive and communal environment. It leads to better mental health, and stronger social connections. This park is designed for all ages and will provide Lost Hills families with an inclusive, high quality outdoor play and recreation environment. It's even recognized as a national demonstration site by PlayCore Center for Outreach, Research and Education. Be sure to head out and enjoy the fun at 14688 Lost Hills Road. Summer is officially here, which means lots of time spent outdoors swimming and cooling off. Anna Marie Odo has more on what you can do to keep your children safe. As the weather warms up, Kern County Public Health is encouraging the community to stay safe in and around water. Their latest Water Watchers program stresses the importance of water safety. From basic water tips to information on how to perform CPR, Public Health wants residents to know that they are here to support Kern County families. The key to keeping children safe is to not take your eyes off of them. When children drown, uh, it's normally silent. You don't hear a lot of noise, there's not going to be anything that grabs your attention. They're just going to go under the water. And so it's vital to keep your eyes on them. So this helps you remember that while you're standing there for your time frame that you're watching the children. If something starts to happen, there's a whistle on here to get everybody else's attention. And so what Water Watchers is, is it's just simply a lanyard you put around your neck. You find one adult, set a time frame every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, and then you switch. So that way there's somebody who knows that they're responsible for keeping their eyes on the children that are in the water. You can access these program resources at kernpublichealth.com. And another way you can stay cool this summer is by taking advantage of our free county programs. The Kern County Library is hosting their annual summer reading challenge. Readers of all ages can sign up online at kerncountylibrary.org for a chance to win prizes, take part in fun activities, and check out books. You can also beat the heat at the Rosamond Community Pool at Jim Williford Park. Swimmers can make a splash from 11 in the morning until 5 in the evening on Saturdays and Sundays all summer long. And if you're an animal lover, the Kern County Animal Shelter is hosting their Streets of Bakersfield program where you can take shelter dogs on day outings. Your adventure can include a hike, a trip to the park, a coffee date, or even hanging out at home. To view upcoming dates, just search Kern County Animal Services on Facebook. And before we go, we just want to remind you that cooling centers are officially open for the summer. As temperatures rise, you can beat the heat in a location near you. During these warmer months, cooling centers provide a safe haven for people at risk of extreme heat. They're run by Kern County General Services and our Department of Aging and Adult Services in partnership with PG&E. Cooling centers are open from 1 in the afternoon until 8 in the evenings if temperatures reach a certain threshold across our county. And if you're heading out to one of these open locations, be sure to bring snacks, games, and books. To access our cooling center dashboard, which is updated daily, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. 
If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.